stuff. A successful launch, orbit, and intact reentry have been accomplished by only a few nations to date. The SpaceX mission today is the first time an entrepreneurial enterprise has joined this very elite company of spacefaring entities. Today was a dramatic step forward. We did lift off at 10.43 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we followed uh, the nominal mission profile. Uh, we had first stage shutdown on time. Stage separation was nominal. Second stage engine start. Uh, nose cone jettison at about uh, 3 minutes and 37 seconds into the mission. Uh, second stage cutoff, uh, nominal as well. Uh, nominal separation of the Dragon spacecraft. Uh, and then we had our on-orbit operations. Uh, we did maintain attitude control, thermal control. Our comms program worked brilliantly. Uh, we had connectivity with uh, the Cape Ground Station, Wallops Ground Station, Australia, Ground Station in Australia. Uh, we also had full TDRS coverage, both omni and directional. Uh, and the directional TDRS required uh, pretty specific pointing of Dragon uh, in order to maintain that link. And uh, we achieved that, we maintained it, and uh, it really worked uh, flawlessly. Uh, we began the deorbit burn at two, uh, two hours and 32 minutes into the mission. Uh, we finished that deorbit burn uh, slightly early. Um, the reentry phase began at two hours and 58 minutes uh, into the mission. Our drogue chutes deployed uh, nominally, three mains deployed nominally as well. By the way, we achieved an 8 meter per second descent speed, which is, uh, as Elon mentioned, quite, uh, quite comfortable from a landing perspective. Uh, we, uh, we, we believed we would, we projected we would have our water landing at 3 minutes and 19 sec or excuse me, 3 hours and 19 minutes into the mission. We actually did it in 3 hours, 19 minutes and 52 seconds, which was awesome. We would not be here without, without the help of NASA, and that, that, uh, I cannot emphasize that enough. Maneuvers that were conducted uh, were, were very similar to the sort of maneuvers that we would conduct uh, in, in going to the space station and berthing with the space station. I feel very confident in being able to conduct the proximity operations and berthing operation with the space station with the next flight. If, if there had been uh, people sitting in the, in the Dragon capsule today, uh, they would have had a very nice ride. And um, they would have experienced, you know, maybe up to four and a half Gs, about what you'd see at an amusement park. Um, and they would have done quite well. So um, it's, it's uh, <coughs> except for the es escape system um, and, you know, its seats and, and some minor upgrades to the life support system, the, the vehicle that you saw today, the, uh, can, can easily transport people. Um, uh, you know, we do think we we do agree with the, the need to have a, a launch escape system, um, and the testing of launch escape system is is a, uh, a difficult thing. The next generation um, at Dragon, we're, we're actually going to be aiming for a, a propulsive landing with, with, with gear, kind of like an eagle landed on the moon. We're beyond the if, you know, is it possible? And the answer is, of course, it's possible. We did it. And, uh, and now we can move forward, get some stuff done.